Welcome back! If you haven't answered the questions or had time to think about it, please pause the video now. Let's talk about little boxes. As humans, it's natural and normal to want to put different things into boxes, to have categories of everything, exactly like in medicine. This is the International Classification of Diseases and it has a list of diseases and the symptoms. In this International Classification, this is number 11, in number 9, as a health disorder was homosexuality, as a mental health disorder. disorder. That was in the ICD-9 and it has been removed in 1992 in the next version of the ICD, showing that medicine has moved on and ha made research and understood that this is not a disorder. Even things that many people think as binary, they're not binary. I'm not a medical doctor to explain in detail how sex is created. For this, you can watch the video that uh, it comes at the end of this uh, lecture, but in short, we know that gender and sexuality is a um, spectrum. Uh, gender is socially assigned to people based on how they look and what, they are what the society expects from them. Sexuality is where to whom people are attracted, and when it comes to sex, it's about biological sex. And in medicine, they have decided that the sex would be specified based on the genitalia, because this is what we knew. But as the time passed and medicine progressed, they realized that it's not only the genitalia that specify the, the, the sex. There are many changes inside the womb and the um, fetus that based on these changes, the sex is really hard to be just black and white. Similarly, is with other biological data that we think that are black and white, like DNA. Most people think that we have only one DNA, but actually we don't know how many people have more than one DNA. That is genetic chimerism. So it means that one person has more than one DNA, but this DNA doesn't mean that it is everywhere in the body. It can be, when it's obvious, it can be as a different color patch on the skin, but sometimes it can be in, ter in internal organs that your liver has different DNA. This is what happened to Lydia in this documentary that you can see at the end of the lecture if you're interested to see how the uh, American state uh, accused her of fraud for child support uh, for children that they didn't have the same DNA as hers, even though she gave birth to them. So life is too complex. It's not only about sex or chimerism or medical conditions. Uh, we live longer. That means that our bodies slowly deteriorate and we have different chronic conditions. It's not that we have only one. Most of the times we will have more than one health condition. So that is the comorbidity, uh, living with different health conditions. And many times these uh, health conditions have medication that it's not good when it's taken together. So this is the last cate category where, because we study health in a way to be controlled, 
and isolated, we end up having solutions that contradict each other when it comes to one person having two different conditions. So what are we doing? Now that we know that the world is complex, is it that, okay, we cannot do an AI because most possibly we will never have all the data we need in order to take proper decisions, or most possibly we will never be able to make all people visible. No, life is too complex to put into boxes, but we should be aware of our inability to process gradient and the spectrum and the diversity that exist and look of what it falls between the boxes that we create that help us perceive the world thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this uh, session <laughs>